Hi guys, welcome back to Conversations with Juan and Tiggs. Today we have a very easy one, Tiggs. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, so what we're going to do today is things to consider we're doing branding but a very basic level. So what do, what do we need to think about? Cool, so the first one is just take in mind that branding is an ongoing process. So it evolves as people change, the market change, and whatever situation you're in. You know, we like to think of it as brand, your brand is like a person, and you're not one person the whole time. You know, you change if you're on Instagram, TikTok, at a conference. Um, yeah, what's number two or anything else you'd add? So number two is all about, before you get into executing, which is the fun part, um, you, after you've done a little bit of research, you want to build out how you want to be perceived in the market. So you're going to have to look at your values, your core kind of archetype for the brand. For example, our values are definitely agile, accessible, honest and human. Hopefully that's coming across some of these videos. <laughs> uh, but then once you start to build that strategy, which is very important, it's going to become your roadmap to success when you start to do your brand activation or rolling out, building some of those assets. So make sure you're at a top level, have a look at how you want to perceive your tone of voice, your values, how do you want to behave all these part at a top level it definitely will help execution later on what's next awesome um, yeah so number three building on on that branding is probably what most people see it as the actual assets or the build-up of your actions your services your products so it can take in you know any promotional material but it's also about the actual customer experience so some brands do that in a really interesting way where you they kind of inject their flavor of their brand into anything anytime you have a touch point or interaction with them and like you said you know they should get the idea that you're you know we are agile honest whatever their brand represents that should come up for anything that they are offering to the customer yeah, what next? Next, yeah. next one, the last one. And I know brand is a very big topic, so we're trying to keep it concise on mm. this one. But at the end of the day, why is this important? Because it's all about perception and headspace and being in the mind of the user because or the buyer. They're not always going to be ready to buy. So it tends it turns out that 5% of people may be in the market to buy. 95, they're just looking, they're maybe not ready. Mm. So having a clear brand that articulates its things properly, that looks consistent and also it's dynamic enough so it doesn't look the same everywhere because then it's kind of boring to be like that. Um, then you start to get that, per that, that perception and people start to recognize you. And that recognition is very important because even people that are not ready to buy from you now, they may be later on and you want to be in their mind mm -hmm. as a top option. So when they hit market to buy, you're one of the selected ones. Uh, hopefully that makes sense, a bit of a longer one. We love brand, we've done tons of them. So if you need a bit of a hand with that, uh, let us know. We have an awesome brand workshop. So yeah, anything else, Diggs? That's it really, we've just kind of scratched the surface with this video, so just keep track of our series on branding and yeah, like Juan said, give us a, a line. Nice, bye! Chicka bam bam, blue melon. <laughs>